What's up, y'all? Opening day was yesterday slash Thursday, depending on when this video comes out, and K Bear Ruiz was so impressive, I just needed to break down his opening day performance as soon as I could. Ruiz went two for four at the plate with a double and a single, but he was even better than his batting stats. Let's start in the first inning. Starling Marte led off the game with a single. He was the stolen base leader in 2021 with 47, and Buck Showalter is about to send him. Now, personally, I actually love Showalter's choice here. You get the leadoff man on against a young team, and he wants to test Ruiz and see if he'll buckle under pressure. And there's probably an 85% chance Marte reaches safely anyways. Not this time, though. This throw is an absolute missile to the right side of second base. Cesar Hernandez didn't even have to move his glove. Same inning, Lindor is the batter with a 1-2 count. Ruiz wants this slider down and in, but Corbin actually misses his spot. Doesn't matter, Ruiz sticks it for strike three. He's very clearly made an effort to become a better framer in the offseason, and so far it's working. He stole a few other calls during this game as well, like here against Pete Alonso. Skipping to the second inning against Mark Canna, this pitch from Corbin is a strike, but he still makes it look good. Alright, let's watch the kid hit. Bottom two, Tyler McGill on the mound for the Mets, and he was dealing last night. Pitched five scoreless innings, but he didn't have an answer for K-Bear. Ruiz is going to take this 2-1 changeup for a strike. It's a pretty nice pitch that he's going to log in his mind. Now McGill is going to try and overpower him up in the zone with two 97 mile per hour fastballs, but Ruiz fights them both off, not giving an inch. Remember that changeup? K-Bear does. He gets the same changeup here on the 2-2 pitch, and he turns on it and hits it off the base of the wall for a double. Later in the game, he faced McGill again and crushed a fastball deep to center field for a flyout. The stat cast showed a perfect swing for a home run, with an exit velocity of 102.5 miles per hour and a launch angle of 30 degrees. If it's a bit warmer in DC last night, that ball is at least off the back wall, if not out of the ballpark. Fourth inning. This play is mostly made by Robles and Escobar, but Ruiz makes the tag in the end. Double in the gap, Robles gets in and quickly, Escobar turns and fires a strike home, and Ruiz receives it nicely and applies the tag. It's also possible that Alonso was safe here, but Ruiz sold the tag and the review was inconclusive. Bottom of the fifth inning, Corbin gets into his first major jam and now it's damage control time. Base is loaded, nobody out, Nats need a big strike out here and Corbin wants to get it with his slider. Catching Corbin is not easy because he throws so many sliders in the dirt. You really can't take a pitch off or the ball could be headed to the backstop. Ruiz makes a textbook block here to keep this ball in front. Drops to both knees, gloves square, shoulders square, doesn't try to pick it with the backhand, and he keeps this ball from getting away. Jan Gomes would be proud. Unfortunately, it ended up not mattering because Corbin hit McCann in the foot on the next pitch. In the sixth inning, Ruiz is at the plate, and he's not going to waste any time. Soto went deep off of May earlier in the inning, Bell got a hit, so K-Bear wants in on the action, and he's going to rock a single into right field. Check out the quick hands here. This is 96 to the inner part of the plate. This is not a bad pitch at all. This is on the black, and K-Bear just doesn't care. He just yanks his hands in and gets the barrel to this ball. The rest of this game was just solid catching and managing of the pitching staff. I know this was just one game, but damn did Ruiz do everything right. He was fundamentally sound behind the plate, he responded to the challenge from Marte in the first inning, and he hit the ball hard all game. This dude could be a star in the making. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to go follow us on Twitter at Half Street High Heat and follow me at Reverse 2 R's 2 S's. And if you guys enjoyed this quick little breakdown after the game and want me to do maybe some more stuff like this, make sure to leave a comment down below because uh, I just had to talk about this guy and I might be doing this throughout the season. So uh, yeah, just let us know in the comments below and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.